everybody, it's Schmickle123 here. Sorry for that background noise, um, our dog is barking. Um, but anyways, today I'm going to do this video real quickly to show you a creation I just made. Sorry, it's kind of like taping. Yeah, my dad just got home. Um, but I just made this creation. I used it off of Sophie's World um, because, I don't know. I was just looking for videos, but it's having like one of those three-dimensional purses on the side. See how it has depth, and it has a strap with this um, dog ear, and it has a little flap, but I think I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to, on the back, put a button right here, and I'm going to show you what I keep in it. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys know that I have a box filled with my stuff. I now have it all in this thing. It's empty because I was going to show you. So I have um. A big pocket here that is swirly piece green, green at the bottom. I'm trying to make sure there's a credit card pocket here and a Ziploc coin pouch. It was already unzipped, so let me zip it up real quick. This Ziplocs, I don't know what I did. I did something weird with this Ziploc, but I think I might have covered up a part I wasn't supposed to, but anyways, um. Yeah, it's not wanting to zip up for me. Right, oh, there we go. And so I'll open that real quick. Yeah. So that's a Ziploc little pouch right there. So I'll show you what I keep in all these little compartments. So first off, I have two cards to measure the length of my card pockets and just, you know, for use. And I have those in this little card pocket right here. Right there nice right there and then this the ziploc pouch Ooh, what happened to that oh i lost something uh oh that's not good oh well i'll find it oh no i didn't oh yeah i did where'd it go huh oh well but next i have my little um labor labels they're supposed to go on the ziploc part but I, I when i measured it i measured it right but i guess when i folded it it didn't work so now I just keep them in this little pouch right here, the little divider kind of area. So that goes in there nicely. Oh, it's so hot in my house. Oh, here's the red one. It was right in front of my face. So right here's my red one. And that was our laundry. Um, next I have these, I think you guys seen them before. They're by West Rim Crafts. These are some little claws, some more of the dog ears and some key rings and I have those and this little ziploc part I actually have the dog ears and the keychains on both sides and then I have the lobster crawl things inside the middle then I have three uh, individual key rings that I bought at Ace Hardware for 10 cents probably and I just keep those in there oh, let's see what else do I keep in there that's it for what I keep in the Ziploc part, part. And then we're going to go back to that divider area. I don't want to, there we go. I don't want to take up too much time doing this. Let's see, we're three minutes into the video and I still have a lot of stuff. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this even. It's not working. Okay, I'll do it later. But we're, we're going to go back where we put these at. Um, next I have my Velcro in them, my sticky strip things. I have those in there. I also have this black strip in there. That just kind of goes in there. And it's a lot more convenient than my old box, just so you guys know. Then I have my ID slots. But I'm, I'm going to get top loaders now. I, they're, they're really good. This is really good plastic, but it's not as good as top loaders. And I have my exacto, extra exacto blades. And that's all that I have in that pocket. And then... But right down there, I have two zippers. You might be thinking, why do I keep zippers in there? It's just, just in case. Um, but I keep two zippers, and they're what's so cool about the bottom is now that it has dimensions, they could sit flat at the bottom, if you guys can kind of see that. Then I have my ends of these, ends of the duct tape rolls. And those just kind of sit in there. Then I have my magnet strip, and those kind of sit over there. 
And then my last two things I have is my hole puncher, which just sits on there, and my X-Acto mat, and, or my X-Acto knife. And that just all fits in here, and it's nice and compatible. Let me see if I can zip this up while I'm talking. Um, but it's nice and compatible, and it's a nice little purse. And if you guys want to know how to make it, watch Sophie's World, or if you want to know how um, I make my versions with all the coin pouches and stuff, um, just comment in the comments below, and I will be more than happy to show you guys. And please comment and subscribe and like this video, and just thank you guys for watching, and hope you guys liked it. There we go. Okay. See you guys. Bye.